I was uh, talking to a musician in the neighborhood and he started to say, well, you know, when you combine arts with agriculture, you get a really fertile combination. <laughs> it was really compelling, this idea, and I said, you mean we could write songs with elder farmers? How cool would that be? Our mission at Sage Arts is to bring elders into the forefront of our community and to give them a voice in a creative, artistic way. And we do this by pairing elders with local songwriters who listen to their stories and identify a theme of importance in their lives and work with them collaboratively to write an original song. And that is what we've done in this project with the seven elder farmers. Well, the seed was planted. And there was then a germination process. And it took some time before that the soil was fertile enough for the seed to sprout. And it was really the arrival of the Rondout Valley Growers Association, <laughs> and in particular, a, a very dynamic woman named Maria Reidelbeck, <laughs> who uh, came to, <laughs> who, who joined me. And um, we've been kind of the dynamic duo knocking on farmers' doors <laughs> and, and uh, talking them into uh, writing a song about their lives as, as much as well as everything else that it's taken to get this project off the ground. It was a great, great pleasure and privilege to spend time with Abe Warish. I think he's our eldest elder, oldest elder in this project, 93. All my kids I sent to college, going out and made me proud, growing their families all around the world. They sprouted up in Cherry Town. Ooh, ooh, work hard for my family. I'm the last one of the Warris family. There was nine children. Help my neighbor, we take care of each other. I'm the last one left, and I hope I can hang around a little longer. <laughs> many people when I was driving a tractor, I'd go back to bed, mercy. <laughs> it's a love story between a farm and a family, and a love story between a family and a farm. Before the horses, before the barns, before they gathered the stones that the house would sit on, before the teams and the endless toil, was the sleeping, blessed, fertile soil. She is somebody who is incredibly connected to the earth. And I, I swear, if she took her shoes and socks off and she stood in turned earth for five minutes, she'd grow roots. Yeah, So moving, and um, it was a perfect, perfect way to recognize all of us. Thank you so much.
Jesus.